Hey you guys! Yay! So today I am filming this holiday makeup look and I'm also testing out my new microphone. So hopefully the sound quality will be like way better. So let's get started, shall we? So I've already finished all of my face makeup uh, just to save time. You know how my videos are. I'm going to be using the Smashbox eyeshadow primer first. Um, I really do like this primer. It's a lot more liquid than the uh, MAC Painterly, which I normally use. And I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs About Last Night eyeshadow palette and just starting off with that kind of cream color. And I'm just going to be setting the eyeshadow primer that way. It'll be really easy to blend out the rest of the shadows because let me tell you, that was pretty much all I did for this makeup look. I don't think I've ever blended so much in my entire life. Like I actually broke out in a sweat from blending. <laughs> so I'm first going to take that kind of like warm reddish brown shade and I'm actually going to use this for my transition. So normally I wouldn't use such a dark color but I kind of wanted this to be a bit more dramatic. And normally when I do my videos I speed up the blending process because I just want to try and save time. But in this video, I kept everything at real speed and I mean, I still cut out probably a good five minutes of blending and I actually even turned the camera off when I got to my other eye because I figured you guys would probably be bored watching 15 minutes of me blending. But I really, really wanted to show you how much time I actually spent on blending and I think this is like one of the best... Uh, makeup looks that I've ever I've ever done just because of the blending so this brush is from Zoeva and it's like a really loosely packed and I don't know if I want to use the word sh like scratchy but it's kind of a scratchy brush I guess and you're gonna see this brush a lot in this video this helped me blend my shadows out so well I just felt like those dense brushes weren't really doing it for me so I just picked this one up and anytime I wanted to really smoke out the edges or get rid of any harsh lines, this was the brush that helped me with it. So I'm dipping into that gray and like deep purple color and this is going to be my crease color. And again, I really took my time building up the color. I didn't want to just pack a bunch of color in right away. I really, really took my time here. And again, just... I really, I think I cut out <laughs> five minutes of blending, even in the, in the crease here. And also this whole time, I could not stop listening to that song by Craig David. What's it called? Fill Me In. <laughs> I think I listened to that song uh, like 20 times on repeat. If you ever see me dancing around in this video, that's probably what I was listening to. So then here's that other brush again. And... Oh, I'm telling you, this brush is incredible. I'll find out what it's called and I'll link it in the description box. And then another thing I would do is I would keep picking up that first color, that like reddish brown, and keep adding color up there as well. So now I'm just taking a white shadow and this is going to be going underneath my brow bone. And this is also a really good trick if you accidentally brought your color up too high, maybe it's a little too dramatic, your brow bone color can totally like bring down the smokiness, <laughs> the smoky level. My cat is grooming herself so loud, like it's so gross. <laughs> So this is a great trick. This is the RCMA No Color Powder. You can really use any loose setting powder, but I'm packing this underneath my eyes. And this is going to help because we're using dark colors and we're also going in with glitter. And by having all this powder sit here, this is a great way uh, to just easily clean up all the fallout. And I dumped it literally all over my entire desk. <laughs> This is called Pure Platinum, and this is from Buxom. This is the most beautiful metallic silver shade. Oh my god. I have used this in a video before, and I just love it so much. I wanted to use it again. So I'm just packing that all over the lid. And if you want, you could totally get your brush wet and make that even more intense. But I just didn't do that this time because I'm going in with glitter anyway. I 
and then I just took the same shades that I used in the crease and just helped to blend those edges out so that there were no harsh lines. I didn't spend too much time on this, but you don't want any harsh lines. No one wants that. So then I picked up that same deep red color one more time and what I was doing for the lower lash line is I wanted to just basically recreate the top part of the eye. So pretty much any of the colors we used on top, we're using on the bottom and really making that smoky because when you have a smoky eye, you want the lower lash line to also match the upper lash line. So I used a combination of the warm red tones, the purples, and the gray. I feel like I'm breathing really heavy. <laughs> and then once again with that brush, oh, I'm telling you, that brush is so good. I just love it. And then I picked up those deep colors one more time and I really intensified just the outer V of the eye because I did want this to be, you know, a really smoky, intense look. Prim, can you please stop licking yourself so loudly? Ugh. Okay, so next I'm going to be using the NYX Glitter Primer. This stuff is incredible. And the glitter that I'm using today is also from NYX. It is in the shade Crystal. Oh, I could just stare at it all day long. If you don't have that, another option, um, I know Urban Decay just came out with the Moon Dust Palette. They have tons of glittery shadows in here, and there's a really pretty silver one. Um, that one right there, don't know what it's called. Uh, maybe what is that granite? I don't know. I can't see, but any glitter that you have. So what I'm doing is I am first applying the uh, glitter primer only to one eye and I'm always making sure that I keep looking down. I don't want to open up my eye because then the glitter primer is going to stick all over the lid and I'm not doing both eyes at the same time either because then the glitter glue would dry and the glitter would not stick. But yeah, so I just took, you know, kept picking up glitter and packing it on. And this is, like I said, where that loose powder is really going to be helpful because it's catching all the fallout and I can literally just dust everything away when I'm done. So I am going to use the Marc Jacobs Black Eyeliner. Oh, this stuff is incredible. So dark and black. I just absolutely love it. Just speeding through this part. Get that lower line as well. Yes, girl. And then I did pick up a black shadow and I really intensified the black on the lower lash line, which I felt like made the look way more intense. And then here I'm just kind of blending that out just a little bit more, just so again, as I've said a thousand times, no harsh lines. This is the number 77 Inglot Gel Liner. You guys, this is the darkest, blackest, easiest liner to use. I suck at liner, and I feel like this one really makes it easy for me to use. So I just kind of packed this on definitely close to the lash line. I don't really like to do huge uh, lines of liner, but now I'm just dusting away that loose powder. It didn't mess up my makeup. I got all the glitter fallout off such a good trick and then i'm just using the uh, this is from essence the lash princess mascara i believe this is a waterproof one all right then for the lips i felt like this just made the whole look come to life so this is just a red uh liner i believe this is from nyx and the color is just called red you can use any any color you want, but I just felt like for the holidays, this was just so perfect. And then this is just a sample size of a lipstick from Bite Beauty, and it is in the shade Gaspacho. You guys, this lipstick blew my mind. I had this on for probably eight hours. I kissed Doug. I was eating. I had, you know, I was drinking, and literally, it never came off. It stayed on all day, and it never dried my lips out or anything. You would think I was wearing a liquid lipstick. 
and I did mess up a little bit when I was applying it so you can just take any concealer and like a little concealer brush and just sharpen up the lines and it'll totally make the it will totally fix any mistakes and this is the finished look you know you have to do those slow motion poses and look at the camera <laughs> But yeah, I think this is such a fun look for any holidays, any any holiday party. Don't holiday parties go all the way until like February sometimes? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and have an awesome day.